If you recently suffered from an injury like a fracture or a tear, what I'm about to share with you might just change your life. In fact, Tony Robbins used this exact technology to prevent having to get surgery on his shoulder, and since then his shoulder has made a full recovery and he didn't have to cancel a single event. Now your primary care doctor or your orthopedic surgeon might argue that this technology is not proven yet. I encourage you to keep an open mind. What we're going to be discussing is PEMF, or Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy. Now, these machines can drastically improve the speed that it takes you to heal and improve the quality of your healing. As you're probably aware, most fractures and tears never quite heal correctly. But if you implement PEMF protocols quickly, you can improve the speed and quality of that recovery. I'm also going to be showing you exactly which units that you can buy or where to access units if you can't afford one at home. Then I'll be showing you the PEMF unit that I use at home and the exact protocols that I used to heal my own shoulder injury that occurred during a beach volleyball incident. So always use new medicine medical technology or treatments under the supervision of your physician. Now with that being said, let's get into it. PEMF works by using pulsed electromagnetic waves that penetrate deep into your body and magnetic fields we've known for a long time have very specific effects on a cellular level. Now as it pertains to injuries and to healing, PEMF has a very specific effect on angiogenesis or the formation of new blood vessels. This formation of new blood vessels creating new blood flow is essential to any healing wound. That's also why you don't want to use it if you have have cancer. It can promote blood flow and new vessel formation to that cancer. So PEMF stimulates endothelial cells, the cells that line the blood vessels, and it stimulates them to reproduce and create new connections. This increases blood flow to the affected area, the fracture or the tear, so that it can get all of the nutrients that it needs to heal correctly. In addition, we also know that it has some effect on the calcium calmodulin pathway, and this is a critical cellular pathway that's involved in tissue repair. Now, we've known for a long time that magnetic therapy works, but honestly, we're still figuring out all of the mechanisms by which it does, for a fact, increase the speed of healing and tissue repair. Now, I mentioned Tony Robbins earlier. He actually has one of these machines at home and he takes it everywhere. He actually calls it his electric taco. And he uses it as a way to minimize stress, but also reduce pain. PEMF has been studied to be massively effective in reduction of pain. And this is why he actually started looking for treatments like PEMF. If you read his book, Life Force, he talks about his rotator cuff tear and how it was debilitating his life. He says that PEMF was one of the cornerstones of his recovery and in getting out of pain. So I also would like you to know that this isn't just some doctor who's saying that PEMF works. There's multiple clinical trials and studies that have proven that PEMF works to speed up healing. Just a couple of those studies, pulsed electromagnetic field enhances healing of a meniscal tear, pulsed electromagnetic fields and tissue engineering of the joints, pulsed electromagnetic field stimulation of bone healing and joint preservation. I encourage you to read these studies and several others that will reinforce what I'm telling you. This works. Now there's a few options to consider if you have a recent injury and you're using PEMF to speed up the healing of that injury. This technology can be expensive, so if you're looking to get a unit like the one I have at home that I'll show you in just a little bit, you could be out of pocket several tens of thousands of dollars. But like I said, PEMF is not just for speeding up healing. I use this every day for a variety of reasons, and some of those reasons include decreasing my daily stress and increasing my happiness. There's some excellent studies on PEMF and how it can be a treatment for depression. Now, if you're not ready to shell out $20,000 for one of these units that are actually used in the clinical studies, I recommend that you call local clinics. Some types of clinics that might have these units for your use, biohacking facilities, longevity clinics, post-surgical centers, chiropractic clinics, physical therapy offices. Type in the Google machine, PEMF machine, local use, call up some local physical therapy offices and see if they have one of these on stock. As PEMF has increased in popularity, a lot more clinics have these. And if you're local in the Tampa Bay area and you want to come use mine, leave a comment and come on and use it. Now, if you really can't find any local clinics that have a PEMF machine and you don't have the money to buy one yourself, there are some lower end PEMF machines that do work quite well. Now, you'll need to use them for a longer period of time and they might not have the same clinical dose of electromagnetic pulses that you might get from the unit that I use, the Pulse XL. Now, for some of those options, click on the link down in the description so you can see some of the recommended PEMF devices that I use and choose the one that's best fitting for you. All right, let's head over to my PEMF machine and I'll continue the video from there. All right, so I'm here in my living room. This is where I keep my Pulse XL PEMF device. Now this is a higher end device. It does cost 
tens of thousands of dollars. So if you're listening to this and you are an entrepreneur, a high performer, and you're not just using this to recover from a one-time injury, you might wanna consider buying one of these. Now you can't just go online and buy one. So if you're interested in one of these, click on the link in my description and we'll talk about some next steps. So if you run a clinic or are involved in a clinic, you need to spend the money and get a higher end device. With a higher end device, you get a much more clinical effect. You get a much more clinical dose of those electromagnetic pulses. All right, so this is the Pulse XL Pro. It'll be linked down in the description. This is what I use at home. Now I'm gonna set the settings here and there's a couple things that I can adjust the strength, the pulses per second, and the time. So I do about 30 minute sessions multiple times per week. Uh, I am recovering from a shoulder injury, so I'm gonna be showing you how I isolate my shoulder. I can put two attachments in here at one time. So I always put a big one on my back, uh, just to help me with my lower back stuff. With this one, I'm gonna be isolating my shoulder joint. So uh, with the magnetic field strength, I'll typically turn, I'm gonna hit the start button, and you can hear that going. I'm gonna turn the magnetic strength up to about 40. It's a good level for me to start, and you can hear it going. It actually feels kind of like a TENS unit. Uh, when you have it on, you'll feel your muscle fibers pulsing, you'll feel the electromagnetic pulses going through your body. And then the pulses per second, I'm gonna turn down to about five. If you get too high on the pulses per second, you start to lose the intensity of those pulses because it doesn't have the full time to recharge and deliver a full blast of electromagnetic pulse. And the time uh, we'll, we'll do for about 30 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna lay back on this backrest and I feel it, but it's not too intense. Uh, now there's several attachments that you can get. For this one, I'm gonna sandwich that shoulder joint and the blue is facing the same way in that sandwich. So that's resting nice and comfortably on my shoulder joint. That's gonna help me recover from any tears. I would keep any phones or technology away from the blast because it is electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic fields. And then I'm just gonna slowly turn up the magnetic field until it just feels a little too intense. If you can see me, my body's kind of pulsating there. You see the shirt going up and down. So that's a good intensity for me. Feel it on both my shoulder joint and in my lower back. And it's pretty incredible if you're using this and you have an injury, you will actually feel it targeting the area of the injury. And that's because it's increasing blood flow to the area of that injury. That's actually a pretty shocking, jarring feeling, but that means that the device is working. Now, if you don't have access to one of these devices via a clinic that you can't go visit once or twice a week, and you don't have the resources to have one of these in your home, there is another device by Higher Dose that I also have. Uh, it's actually got a built-in infrared as well. And I'll, although the magnetic pulses aren't as strong, it is a good entry-level device. You can get it for under a thousand bucks. Have it at home. It's much more portable than this, than this big bulky device. But again, if you're recovering from an injury and you're an athlete or mobility is important to you, uh, you should seek out a device that can deliver a strong enough magnetic pulse so that you can actually get a clinically relevant result from using this treatment. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my treatment for the next 30 minutes. If you found this video helpful, uh, please give it a like so that you see more of it in your feed. And if you want one of these devices for your own home or for your clinic, click on the link down in the description. I'll be able to point you in the right direction so that we can get you started. Do not wait on this if you have an injury. The sooner that you start intervening, the faster you're going to heal, the better that final result is going to be. I'm Dr. Jay Feldman, and I'll see you in the next video.